here's the uh, one of the toughest lessons you're ever going to have, uh, whether you're a beginner or otherwise, and that is learning bar chords. Bar chords are tough. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it, and it takes some practice, but it's a necessity, really, once you move anywhere beyond those basic chords that we've already learned. Uh, the Probably the most common bar chord that you're going to come across is the F chord. Now, here is the F chord. Bar chords are so called because your index finger bars right across all six strings. There are some partial bar chords, and we'll talk about those later, but a full bar chord means the index finger passes right over all six strings and then you form another shape underneath that. In this case, we have our index finger right across the first fret. We have our middle finger on just behind the second fret of the uh, G or third string. We have our uh, ring finger just behind the third fret of the A or fifth string and our little finger just behind the third fret of the D or fourth string. Now, first time you do this, it's going to it's going to sound like that. I hate to break it to you. Uh, there's really no getting around it. Um, it will take you some time. In this case, you do find that if your thumb is more towards the middle of the back of the neck that it helps because then that thumb and index finger becomes like a peg and you can get that much better. Mm -hmm. uh, I get people saying to me, oh, my, my finger won't lay flat. Of course your finger will lay flat. Can you hold your finger straight like that? Then it will lay flat across those strings. So if you're struggling, if you grip your guitar and you go, I can't get my index finger down flat, take your index finger and point it like that firstly, put it there, and then make the rest of your hand fit so that it stays like that. So if that means that your thumb has to be even below the halfway point on the back of the neck, further down, that's fine. No problem at all. Uh, just make sure that that finger stays flat. Now, there's a fair amount of pressure needed there, uh, but it will get easier with time. It's the only thing that I can tell you with that one. But you do have to learn the F because uh, if you want to play in the key of C, for example, or uh, other keys, uh, it's going to crop up and uh, it's just something that's unavoidable. You will see in chord books uh, little short versions of the F like this, which is sort of like a part of the chord. You know, it kind of works, but uh, again, it's one of those stopgap measures that really takes you nowhere. Uh, there are other people, and so before anyone sort of emails me about this, who will play an F, that short F like that, and wrap their thumb around the back. And in fact, that's a common way that I play it, uh, particularly if I want to move the thumb uh, for finger picking and doing uh, bass lines. Uh, but I do want you to learn to play a full bar chord because uh, there are other bar chords that you have to learn as well, and we'll get onto those in later lessons, so you may as well get the hard one out of the way first. Practice and uh, it will get better.